Hello, today I'm going to talk about the design rule which is called V under SMD. So how you can define the design rule that I'm going to tell you. For example, uh, if you have a VR and when it is, uh, it is placed on some of the components um, SMD pad. For example, let me copy this VR and if it's by mistake, placed like this. So for example, this VR is not having the same net name then definitely when I will do the design rule check then design rule check will show me there is a rule violation clear and constraint and short circuit this rule violation here but if this VI is having this the same net name like this pad then it's not possible to detect that there is a VI under this pad let me give this VI the same net name uh, so now it's having the same net name then uh, let's report the polygon and when I will rerun the design rule so I think it's on the back side yeah so let me report this polygon also so When I will run the design rule check, then here you can see that it cannot detect that there is a VIA under the pad. And for that, what you have to do to define this rule, you have to go to the design rules and go to the high speed. And here you will find VIAs under SMD. Right click new rule and let's call this so let it be via under SMD, then this rule should be applied to the all component. And allow via under SMD pad, you don't have to click here, otherwise this rule will not work. So apply, OK. And now, let me save this. And when I will again here run the design rule check, then I'm expecting that it will show me this, there is a rule violation. So here you can see that as soon as I run the design rule check, it's showing me that there is a rule violation even though this VI is having the same net name. So that's how you can define the rule for VI under SMD or VI under pad. And let me give you one more example. For example, if you have a IC, which is having exposed pad with vias so in that case for example if you will apply this rule to that then it will always give you the design rule error so to avoid that what you can do first let me touch one ic which is having a exposed pad with vias so for that you can go to the you can select here in manufacturing part search ic's and here let's check this out maybe this is having uh, this is having exposed pad and also vias so here you can see that it's having a four vias let me report the polygon and so double click on the ic so it will open its properties primitives you have to unlock the primitives and then uh, let's call this expose pad as a ground net and then this vias let me select it from the bottom side here. Yeah. Net. You can select here from the net and then click on the net name which you have to give. So for example, if I will click here, then all these VS got the uh, net name as a as ground. So let me report this and when I will do here the design rule check, then Then it shows me the uh, design rule violations for uh, VIA size. So which we have defined in our design rule that the VIA si uh, size should be at least uh, 0.4 millimeter. So let me change the size of the VIA. Here the diameter should be 0.8 and the whole size of the VIA should be at least 0.4 millimeter. And then let me report this. And 
this one also. And so when I will run the design rule check, then I'm expecting two errors. The first one is for this uh, via under SMD and the second one is for this R2 via under SMD. So let me run the design rule check. So here, as I said, you can see that there are two rule violation. The first one is via under SMD constraint between the pad designator 6 to 29. And then the second one is for the R2. So uh, here in this case, for example, for this chip, you need these vias for the thermal cooling. You can define a design rule uh, so that for such kind of uh, vias under SMD, Ultimate Designer won't give any kind of rule violation. For that, what you can do, go to the design and then classes. And in the classes here, you should first define the new component class. Let's call this QFN24. Then bring this component in the member class of this component. So, okay. And now what you have to do, you have to go to the design rules. And in the rules, you have to here, uh, via under SMT in this rule, you have to select custom query and write not in component class. So it will show you the component classes which you have defined and then you have to choose this QFN24. Apply, okay. And when you will again run the design tool check, then this error won't be there. So here you can see that there is only one design rule violation and that is for R2, this pad, and not for this one. Yeah, that's how you can define the design rule for the vias under SMD. Yeah, I hope that this video is useful for you. And if you like the video, then please hit the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.